Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mr. Anime. We're going to be starting Hex Chat for beginners. I'm just going to show you how to basically set it up, and because there's not really a guide on there to really show you how to basically install it and set it up to just chat on. We're going to be going on the Ryzen network, which is just a server. Yeah. We're just going to be doing that today. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to go to your web browser, use your Google search, or whatever search engine you use, and just type in FixChat, all one word, and enter. <coughs> no, excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> just click on the first link that comes up there, which is hexchat.github.io. I also have a link to this in the description, by the way. And just click on it. Oh, what you that little thing you see by the way, if you're wondering the little green circle. It's Woat, Web of Trust. Great add on if you ask me. Whatever. Anyways, it'll take you to this page and what you after you get here you want to go to get downloads. And just click on whichever whichever you're using. You're either using an 86 or 64-bit. I, I personally just get 64-bit, unless you are on a on a 32-bit system. Which, if you want to find that out, you can go here, right-click on your uh, icon there if you're on Windows 10, and basically you just go here to System, and you can see. It's in here somewhere, yeah, right there, 64-bit operating systems, 64-bit based. And then, yeah, that's how you know. Easy, right? Then after you download that, you come out of your web browser, and then you'll actually go through the setup process. It's really easy setup. Well, the uh, installation processes, which processes, which is just basically your normal, and if you ever installed a program before, you can do it. It's easy. And basically, after you get done with that, this will come up. And these are yeah, my names on the uh, network. And then what you want to do on here is you want to, you'll basically start off here. You want to scroll down all the way to Ryzen right there. And before you, <clears throat> before you do anything, really, personally, what you want to do is you want to click on that. Whoops. You want to click on it. Click Edit. Make sure th these four, these are just my personal preferences on this stuff, but these are basic, just basic uh, stuff, and then if you want, if you already, if you already signed up on Ryzen, you can have your, which they use the nick serve commands, plus password, which is just that, and then you can just do all that, yeah. Yeah, if you're wondering why my, why my CPU is running that high, high, it's because I am running on a laptop from 2009, believe it or not, yeah. Wow, right? Then after you get all that, just, you can type in whatever you name want here, and then your second choice, and your third choice, in case you get disconnected, which happens a lot. And you can actually skip this on the startup if you want, but I personally don't like to, just because, personal preference. Then you just click on Ryzen, click connect. And then I have a whole bunch of settled channels right now set up to auto-connect me, and I'm going to auto-log in. So you'll see all that. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. They're connected. It looks like some people, and this is actually my channel right here, because I'm the, I'm the founder right there. Here. Say hi to YouTube, guys. Let's type that right. Let's finish. Whoops. There we go. Then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, oh, if you want to, uh... If you really want to <clears throat> hmm, 
basically set it up to basic. This is this will not will, what it will look like for you. This is not what it'll look like. How I got all these boxes and stuff, and this is all custom colors. Basically, you go over here to uh, view, check all of these, and then all these boxes will pop up, and you can actually change their dimensions like so. This is just my personal preference, and then if you want, you go over here to settings, preferences, and you go over here to colors, and if you guys want to get out of the video, pause it, whatever, and just copy all these, uh, feel free to do so. No problem. Anyways, guys, I think we are done here, and let's, I'll see you tomorrow, or some other day. Whoever comments first, I will see first. Put it that way. Anyways, bye.